place in Southeast San Diego that helps local black owned businesses thrive. It's called Dago Eats and it's continuing to grow. As part of our series Stories for Change, I found out how this simple idea has turned into a much needed springboard for local entrepreneurs. This is what the parking lot of the Synergy Center on Imperial Avenue looks like on the last Sunday of the month. It's just a way to just gather and and show support. Tanisha Smith is the co-founder of Black San Diego, an organization dedicated to empowering the community. Our first Dago Eat was January of 2021, and um, it is the very last Sunday of every month from one to five. The response was overwhelmingly positive. Smith says it gave local Black-owned businesses the boost they needed during the pandemic. A lot of times, Black business owners don't have the resources, and we are there to provide that resource. We are there to show that, you know, we are on your side. We believe in the product that you put out there. During their last event in July, they featured more than 15 different businesses, everything from smoothies to soul food. They have a place to showcase their culinary talent um, if they don't have a storefront. So we kind of provide the space for them to have somewhere. And while food is the focus, there's also plenty of other things happening at each Dago Eats event. Just a plethora of um, any kind of food, dessert, drink that you can think of is there. The vibe is set. We've um, collaborated with an art show, the last um, Dago Eats. We have a DJ who you know, has the music going. A mix of entertainment and food that's proved popular for this pop-up festival, helping the local black culinary community thrive. If you'd like to go, the next Dago Eats event is Sunday, August 29th from 1 to 5.